Hello, in this video I will show you how to do your own algorithm to rotate corners. First notice that when you take a corner from the top face to the bottom face, the top color gets on one side. And if we use the other face that contains the corner, it gets on the other side. So we can use this to rotate this corner. For example, we take it down with this face. We put it in a buffer at the opposite of the cube. We bring the face back. Now, we use the other face to retrieve the corner. You see that it has rotated. The white color has arrived here, which is a counterclockwise rotation. And the first face we've rotated was this one. We rotated in a counterclockwise direction. So if we use first a counterclockwise rotation, we apply a counterclockwise rotation. Now, we've messed up the bottom of the cube, so we need to cancel this. To do this, we'll do the inverse of what we've done. So we take another corner, and let's do the contrary. So first, this face in a clockwise direction, in the buffer, and retrieve with the other face. The mess has gone, and the other corner has been rotated. Now we just need to align back the top face. So, this corner has been rotated in a counterclockwise direction, and this corner in a clockwise direction. You may think that it's a bit slow because we use different faces and a U-turn. Instead, you can use just two faces. For example, this face and the bottom face. How do you do that? Remember that we've rotated the corner using two different faces. How to do that with just one face? Well, when you bring the corner down, you put it on the other corner that is also at the bottom in this face. So, when we bring the face back, it gets rotated. See? Now, to bring it up again, we move it out of the way. We bring the destination to the bottom face. We get it back, and we're done. We can do the same with the other corner. In fact, we must to cancel the mess. So we bring it down. We must do, must do the inverse, so in a reverse order. So first we move it out of the way, bring it up, then move in the way, bring down, it gets rotated, bring back at the destination. The second method is quite longer in terms of number of moves, so we'll see later that there is an even faster way to do that. But first we'll see how to orient pairs of corners. We can do what we just did, but there is a, a faster way. When we put the corner down, uh, we can in fact, at the same time, put another corner on the other side and so when we rotate the bottom face we exchange both corners so both corners get rotated for example if we rotate this face so in a counterclockwise way so we rotate this corner in a counterclockwise direction and on the other side we rotate this face with this corner here 
in a clockwise direction. So the corner will get rotated in a clockwise direction. Then we exchange the corners and then we bring them back. Here the corner is rotated in a clockwise direction, but wait, we've rotated counterclockwise. Yes, but this corner comes from the other side. So it's rotated in a clockwise direction, and this one in a counterclockwise direction. But now everything else is messed up, so we must cancel using two other corners. So, counterclockwise and clockwise, exchange, and bring back. Now we just align, and all corners are rotated. Now of course we can undo this by carefully choosing which corner we will rotate. For example, this one must be rotated in a counterclockwise direction, so with this space, this in a clockwise direction, we bring them up, and then we must do the inverse, so as it is a conjugate, in fact it's just the same, so counterclockwise, clockwise, exchange, And it's done. We've exchanged two pair of corners that are at uh, opposite location and we, ro we rotated them. But what if the rotation must be applied to corners that are adjacent? Well, it's not so complicated. We take a corner down and we take the other corner to the opposite of the, of the cube using a rotation of the top face. Then we bring it down using here a clockwise direction. Exchange. Now we must undo the rotation of the top face. So we rotate it to adjacent corners. Of course we must do the same with the other corners to undo the mess. So bring down, rotate. Clockwise, exchange, bring back, undo, and bring back. See, it's a quite fun uh, situation with uh, the white face uh, at opposite direction. Let's see a free cycle that do not change the orientation of the corners. For example, we use this corner as a buffer. Now we exchange with this corner. So we take it down, rotate, take it up. Now we must cancel the mess and bring back from the buffer. So we put another corner at the same location as before and cancel by doing the same. And now we bring back the buffer. So it's a free cycle and all corners have the white color on the top. Now, if we want to change the orientation, we need to store uh, the buffer in a different orientation as the other corners. For example, if we take the buffer this way, so in a, a counterclockwise way, we must take the other corners uh, to the bottom face using a clockwise direction. So for example, this way. Now we bring back from the buffer and take up. Now we take another corner and exchange, but this one, uh, this time we must rotate the bottom face uh, in the other direction. And now we just cancel to align and bring back the buffer. As you can see, two corners are rotated. Uh, I mean the orientation of each corner has changed. Now we'll do how to rotate three corners at the same time. To do this, 
we'll consider for example the three corners but instead of using this face as the top face we would use another face this one or this one this, let's take the green face so if we want to rotate a corner let's say this corner in a counterclockwise direction we can do it by rotating this face that way of course uh, it's not right uh, for the other cubes, but this corner is oriented differently. Now, uh, we can do that. So it's like a free cycle with these two corners at the top face and this one as a buffer. And uh, if we want the buffer to be rotated, uh, we must also take care of the position of the white color here. For example, if we bring down using this face, the white color will be on top, which is a rotation, so that's what we want. Instead, if we use this face, the white color is here, and it will come up here, so it will not be rotated. The or orientation will not change. So, we will use a clockwise rotation to bring the corners down. So, for example, remember the buffer is here. First corner, bring back from the buffer. Second corner, exchange again with the other direction, of course. And now align again. And that's what we want. This one, this one, and this one. They are all rotated in a counterclockwise direction.